G'day guys, Happy New Year. Long time, no video. So what have I been up to? I've taken a break from gaming in general and really lost the passion for Assault Squad 2. So hence the lack of videos. But uh, hopefully I get to make some more soon when the next tournament comes around. I think it's going to be on Jutska's mod whenever he finishes it, maybe in 2020. And also maybe when a similar game is released that tickles my interest, such as Gates of Hell, which is also taking quite long, hint hint. So what I've been doing, I've been spending time with family and working, also been learning software. And while doing that, I was thinking, this is boring, so why not? Do something different. Why not kill multiple birds with one stone? Learn the software, make a video, and cover topics that could be interesting for me and hopefully the viewers. So uh, the first topic is numbers in war. Hopefully you'll find this interesting somewhat. So let's take a look into the data. So what you see here is a couple of graphs. The first one to keep notice of is this top one, deaths by year. And remember, this is the last 200 years from 2003 to 1823, I believe. And it's based on the casualties of a particular country when they entered the war. So what really juts out like a sore thumb is the world wars. And so you can see 1939 when Germany entered the war, the deaths allocated on that year. And when uh, Russia and others entered the war, it's gone really high. So... It's just showing you that, yeah, the world wars were a huge impact of the amount of deaths in probably the entire history of wars, to be honest. Um, and it's a testament to how the lethality of, of the tools of war have improved. I won't say improved, <laughs> have uh, disastrously, disastrously affected uh, any sort of conflicts. Um, so in World War I, that's where it started the big jump, is when they had the machine guns and they didn't know, they, they were all testing out tactics, they didn't know what the hell to do with uh, the wars, they were all just charging the machine guns at the start. Um, and also uh, artillery, the, the amount of, uh, the range and the power of the shells, they uh, had two million shells per battle sometimes, um, with the cleanup of those shells in France still undergoing. Uh, it's, it's nuts how, how much uh, firepower and the tools of battle have affected the casual accounts. Though you can see there's a smaller amounts of casualties of, of many wars in here, but there are more, a lot of smaller wars. You can say proxy wars, uh, maybe, where no big nation, I guess, versus a major power have uh, happened. There, there's still even, even there's other ones like the Vietnam War and Korean War, as you can see. So if I click here, this juts out and changes all the other charts where you have the Vietnam War, the second Kashmir War happened in the same year. That's why. But you can see the casualties uh, amount, but they don't even... They, they really are a blip on the whole entire graph, too, of the entire century. But if you click on something like the one of the years of the World, of War, World Wars when, when um, Russia was involved, you can see even as a whole, the entire war, that's in so entire 200 years, it takes up the new whole pie graph. And the average deaths per country is 118 million, 12 million deaths in total for that year only. So this is only for that year. Um... Uh, so you can sort the deaths here, and it's obviously Russia topping, or so, yeah, USSR topping that list. So I got went through great pains to collate this data. So a lot of this, I a lot of them may not transition. So some powers like the Austro-Hungarian Empire from World One will not transition to Austria deaths in 1940, for example. But things like Russia, I was able to link all the casualties together. So, um, so the, yeah, the lethality of wars is uh. Uh, a big thing to notice in here, and if I filter this some more, so 1913 was just before World War One. <clears throat> you can see the average deaths is 134k. The deaths are 30 million. Median deaths is 2,000. So well, I suppose it's relatively low for the average, not considering the outliers. And 57 wars, so quite a lot of wars. And the biggest war, most obviously World War Two. Order one, the Iran-Iraq war is something I did not know much about, and that's interesting. Most something might have to investigate. Um, that happened quite recently, mm. and that's a lot of casualties. Second, like more than the Vietnam War, and it's not really advertised, or I guess not really covered much. Who would advertise a war? The, 
Um, so going back here from 1913, let's say, 1912 maybe, you can see that uh, the deaths are more spread out and the average deaths are 15 15k instead of 130k. The deaths is only 2 million compared to 30 million, I believe it was 30 million. And the median deaths are the same though. So a lot of small walls here and there, but the, the, the walls are generally spread out, uh, more less spread out. You can see that there's a 300,000 wall. If you click on that, I can see that it is the wall, the Lopez wall, that's the Paraguayan wall. You can see on the right, well, if I click on the Lopez wall, you can see who that affected that wall, in that wall. Uh, Brazilians, the Argentinians against the Paraguayans. And look at the, how much they've really got wrecked in terms of casualties, almost double the the opposing forces. The average deaths, 130k, obviously. Uh, three, three, three people divided by 300, yep. Uh, deaths, 310k, median deaths, 100k. So, interested to see all these walls. There's probably some other walls I'm, I'm not sure about. So if I go clear this, I'll go back to the, the 200 years before 1912. And there's all these other walls that I never, I don't know about. So that's the second Russia war, Russia, Russia Turkish war. I have no idea what was that about. It'd be good to see the stats and that bring out all the empires. I don't know. Um, this, I'm just listing my thoughts from the start of discovery because I really don't know much about this, but I'm having fun building this together. So Franco-Prussian war as well. You can see that this sort of France and Germany. Wow, the deaths. <clears throat> the deaths per country, there's only like five nations involved at France, wow. How come France lost so much in the Franco-Prussian War? And, wow, okay. They didn't do too well at all um, in that particular uh, war. And some other ones here, what's, um, so they're all, I guess, there's a lot of wars that are relatively around the 100,000 mark and a few small little ones. Russia-Japanese War. So what I'm getting out of this is, yeah, definitely, that from a broad perspective, the amount of casualties were much less in, than in the current century. Um, but yeah, I wonder even even though this is where the, I guess the muskets and the guns, some of the guns started coming across where before this, the lethalities were a lot less. The tools of the trade were less lethal. Um, but I wonder if, uh, obviously now with nuclear weapons, if there was ever a major conflict, that would uh, be another story that would be boom. The entire, entire casualty list for the entire, entire, uh, entire history in one day, or five seconds, that being set, five minutes, whatever how long it takes to nuclear weapon to hit. Um, but look at that. So that's a huge amount of casualties, like for just World War One, um, to World War Two. I scroll to the the highest deaths in the entire, um, current uh, century or last hundred years. That's uh, sixteen million, which is pretty much more than. Uh, Nearly the whole Australian population. Wow. So think about that. It's just the men too. And this is only the deaths, not counting casualties. Usually the ca the casualties are basically the wounded people. So I haven't brought that in. It's a bit hard to bring everything in, but I will eventually get the casualties for that and the civilians. But look, think about that. Just the men. So that's more than the entire men population, the, the male population in, in Australia, uh, 16 million. Hmm. But uh, if I take the outliers off, let's say if I take away, um, hmm, I select all, take away the World War One, World War Two. You can see now that the 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 deaths by year is still relatively high because there was never a one million mark in the other uh, other century before this. It was all around the highest, or about hundred thousand or so. So the average deaths are still higher from from fifteen to twenty eight k in this one and. Just generally a lot higher, and the deaths by country name. Look at that. Well, China is actually uh, not including World War One and Two. China's got the most. It's, it's probably for the Korean War, isn't it? So if I click here, it's going to change this, and I see the death for China. Taiwan Straits. Wow. The Third Sino-Japanese War. What? Oh, sorry, sorry, mate. I. Oh, okay. It's not counted as World War Two. Interesting. 1937. They lost 750,000 even before World War Two started. That's interesting. Interesting indeed. And uh, there's obviously a two Chinas there. <laughs> PPRC. Which one was that? Okay, Taiwan Straits and the Assam or whatever that is. So let's clear all this uh, back to normal. So I'm, I'm guess I'm just playing around with the outliers here, trying to get a feel of the history. Uh, one thing I also want to know is, I uh, want to get across is, not only the lethality of the tools have changed, is pretty much the ability for a uh, 
a state to support the army for a long time. So there was generally in 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 the more recent times the the, the population can be supported because you, those, all the machinery, all the industrialization allowed the supply of uh, the army and had you didn't didn't need that much people producing food. So it allowed for a state to fight on and on. So all these improvements in weaponry and improvements in the ability to, I guess, feed the people are actually uh, causing so many deaths. Uh, anyway, that being said, the population is still increasing, but um, it's very tragic uh, to lose lives just for nothing like this in wars. Um, so let's reset everything. Uh, I think it's all reset. Back to the 223k average deaths for the last 200 years. This is uh, being filtered still, I don't know. Clear, clear. Okay. Um, oh, that's right, sorry, I got the warn multiple select the select all again, and that should bring me back to the to the full full list where Russia <laughs> takes it out, a uh, big one, because of World War II. So wars by region, let's go to Asia, for example. In Asia, average deaths 52k. 5 million deaths in total, and mostly just happened here. Let's say, oh, let's say before, I'm just looking at this, I, I didn't know this. Before, let's say World War I, well, I think even World War I too, but let's say before World War II, before the, you know, the Japanese War, it's 1937 I think it was, the deaths, oh wow, there's actually quite a lot. Is it counting, what is this one? World War I, did Asia participate that much in World War I? No, that's right. <clears throat> some reason it took off the other filter. Okay, so only 249 deaths in Asia, in an Asian, I guess, a war fought in Asia. So this is the, the way the wars were fought. Um, that's staggeringly low for the previous century. Uh, wow. So before that, it was just relatively peaceful. Oh, sorry, this is state versus state. So pretty much the countries were all internally conflicting each other with the whatever revolution of the Taiping Rebellion. That was actually... The biggest uh, casualties, which I don't show here because it's not state versus state. So I've got to um, do another video on state on, on civil war. It's a lot more casualties and also civilian deaths and also casualties um, which not, are not deaths. But wow, I'm surprised by this. There's actually no state versus state big wars in there. The biggest one was uh, 151k. It's pretty much nearly the whole one. And that was the Russia-Japanese war, wow, where the Japanese defeated the Russian um, Russians. You can see how tiny it is, though, but for Japan, it's a big portion. For Russia, this is nothing to their amount of wars in this uh, time period. For Japan, that's their, pretty much their biggest war ever in this time period. Um, so what do I do to see the exact deaths per nation? There we go. So Japan actually lost more of this, uh, this war. Hmm, interesting. Interesting indeed. Let's get back out. Um... We'll open the whole slider across. Hmm. I don't know how long to keep this video, so I'm not going to waffle on too much more. Let's just quickly look at the other regions. Uh, average deaths, uh, well, average deaths per war is actually uh, less because probably there's a lot more. 27 wars compared to, oh, 28 wars. Oh, this is including the current century, sorry. Um, so a lot was lost here. Middle East. Middle East, wow. Not many wars were fought there, I guess. World War II. I think the blank were pretty much some of the world wars because it's a bit hard to assign a country a particular um, region where it was fought um, unless the other country only participated in one war. Um, so that, that that's quite low. The biggest amount of deaths is pretty much all, uh, no, more than half in the Iran-Iraq war, which I don't know much about. We go here. The Iran-Iraq war, Iran lost a lot more than, a little bit more than Iraq. Um, hmm, very interesting. So that's, I guess, the summary screen. Let's just take a look in more detail. I want to just look more into the World War One, World War Two comparisons. So I built another thing. You can see here that this is a list of deaths on the left table. So I saw by deaths, Russia, 9.75 million. Germany, 5.33 million. Deaths, not casualties, remember? Deaths only. China, third place. Japan, fourth. Um... Hmm, well, Axis, so there's a few allies, yeah, I guess the allies, quite even with the Axis allies, they didn't bring across uh, the groupings for allies Axis, unfortunately, but United Kingdom, 1.35, uh, uh, apologies, this is for the entire uh, 200 years. So the next one is World War I deaths, you can see compared to the, uh, next one's World War II, so compared to the two, you can see that um, 
yeah, Russia lost a lot more in World War Two. Germany, this Germany, the same. Um, though some nations actually lost a lot more in World War One than World War Two. Mainly the Allies, other than the Rush. Yeah, mainly the Allies actually. So this next column is the variance between the two. So if I look at here, I can see all these countries lost more or lost uh, lost in World War Two. Um, some didn't participate in World War One, as you can see, zero. But yeah, Germany, Russia, obviously they they pretty much had the bulk of the casualties in World War Two. So um, the rest had less. Uh, World War One, Poland didn't participate. Uh, United States had more in little. It's just quite quite low. Look, the entire United States. There've been so many wars. I wonder how many wars the United States have been. Let's just. Have, so I just want to have a quick look at this. So you go United States. Uh, search by country. Find. Can I find it on the graph? There you are. So United States, thirteen wars in the whole period. Um, Fifty k average. Okay. I thought they'd been involved in a lot more wars than that. To be honest. Um, probably more in the most recent times with the bush and the don't know if you would call intervening in certain regions uh a war like uh intervening in probably not yeah you don't count that they don't count that as a full-on state war it's just a undercover war which uh, you can't it's not measured by this so let's go back to the country detail so we're sort of again world war variants you can see well obviously austria hungary not there, but you can see France. France actually lost a lot less in World War Two. In World War One, they were the start. I guess they they bore the full full front of the testing out World War testing out tactics with uh, machine guns and whatnot, and that really paid a heavy price with the artillery as well, thrown into the mix, blowing off. I think the casualty rate would have been so much higher than the deaths. It's probably one point three nine deaths, but two point something casualties and civilian deaths. Thing is with World War One, World Two, it'll be interesting to see later on with the civilian uh, look at this. Uh, you can probably see that uh, in World War One, civilian deaths were were nothing because the line was so static. Um, where World War Two had, for ideological reasons as well, and also the mobility of the war, more casualties and and the technology with the bombings. But World War, wow, France really just—it's probably good that they surrendered. <laughs> to be honest, um, they they had had one point seventeen million less deaths. In World War Two than in World War One, United Kingdom had also half a million less deaths than in uh, World War Two. You can you kind of think that World War Two bigger weapons, you know, etc. They they would have more casualties, but no, they had less because I suppose they they might have learnt from World War One to not to be so gung ho with their tactics. No, yeah, I guess France might have been the wisest thing to do to surrender. They've suffered so much in World War One. They suffered almost the, one of the most in World War One. Look here, other than Russia and Germany, uh, France suffered uh, the third third amount, and that is probably a testament to why they uh, surrendered. I, I hadn't told nothing against them surrendering. I know some people like to bag bag French for that. But Italy, look at that. World War Two as well, they lost nearly half a million less. That's an interesting stat for me too. I, I did not know. Um, Bulgaria, Bulgaria lost less. Turkey didn't participate in two. Um, Interesting. Romania got less too, lost casualties. Interesting. I thought they would have lost so many in the Western Front because they provide the bulk of the bulk of the Allies, I believe. Sorry, the, the Axis forces in in uh, in the Eastern Front, if I'm not mistaken. So outcome diff. Okay, what's this? Oh yeah, the outcome diff. Win wins and losses. So this last one's an interesting one. It's the win. The wars counted as a win. And the wars count to the loss, minus the loss. So you kind of see which is the worst. So the United, United Kingdom actually had the most wins versus losses in the entire 200, uh, entire country list in the last 200 years. Italy second. That's an interesting stat, Italy. So if you click on Italy, you can see they've uh, fought in quite a few mini wars, but they probably won them all. They probably chose the right alliances back in the 1800s. It's all about choosing the right alliances. World War Two, World War One. So they lost World War Two. They were on the World War One allied side. And number of wars, 12, they won 12, they won 11, lost 2. How is that possible that they won 11 but there's 12 wars? That is an interesting bug. I'll look at that later. But the United Kingdom, they've uh, won 10 wars, lost uh, none. Uh, but they lost the American uh, the American Revolution before 1823. So it's not included here, but in the last one, they've won every single war. They've won the Crimean, 
the World War Two. They're, they're probably there's really tiny amount of casualties in there. You can't even see it. What other wars are there in there? So France is next. Three. So I I, won't, I can talk about. I can look at this as the days come. I've really got to go. Actually, um, baby's going crazy. But I'll quickly sort to the to the biggest winners and the biggest losers. Uh, sorry, China has won sixteen wars, lost ten. Yeah, did I sort the outcome diff? Oh. Uh, Egypt, I think, has lost fifteen. Uh, why is the co- sorry the country count section not updating properly? Is it? Ah, sorry, I know why. I've actually got this France selected. That's why it was screwing up with the tally. So if I go back, China has lost uh, seven wars and won four. So we've got nothing else selected, making sure, yep. So they've lost the most in World War II, obviously, and the second in the... Yeah, that's the, that's kind of part of World War Two. And Egypt. <laughs> Egypt has lost five, won one. Which one did they, 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 they win? Um, how can I tell? So if I go to win, which one did they win? They won the Gulf War. Oh, they were part of the coalition of USA, so that's a count as a win. And they lost everything else here. Interesting. So I, I, I really have to go, guys, but this is interesting. I, let me know what you think my next video should be. I still feel I haven't explored the entire death stats enough, but I was thinking of other things, even religion versus uh, wars, the percentage of the religion population and and uh, how many died, uh, things like that, How like a fun one. It's not going to be a, a correlation. It's definitely not a causation of the deaths um, because, because the, the gods are angry. But it's interesting to see. Or even some fun ones like Greek might be interested in uh, penis size and IQ, something like that. So anyway, see you around, guys. That was a bit of fun for me, and hopefully it was a bit of fun for you. See ya.